Georgia's number one news source. This is Fox 59 Live at 5. Violent crime is impacting nearly every neighborhood in Indianapolis, which is why community leaders have created a petition to end the violence. Leaders of the North Shadeland Alliance are seeking emergency measures, they say, to stop the surging violence across the city and to hold city leaders accountable. Thank you so much for joining us live at 5. Glad you're with us. I'm Fanchin Stinger. And I'm Lindsay Eaton. Dan is off tonight. Fox 59's Jesse Wells explains how that petition follows a double homicide in that neighborhood just days earlier. The online petition got hundreds of signatures in less than 24 hours. Like a lot of people, the organizers are frustrated by the constant killing across Indianapolis and are looking for solutions. Four people were shot and two men died in this parking lot near 75th and Shadeland over the weekend. A month earlier, 23-year-old Malik Parks was murdered after being ambushed at an apartment complex near the same intersection and the high-profile killing of an employee at Subway along Shadeland last year also remains unsolved despite surveillance pictures being released of the suspected killers. Those three cases are just a small part of the record-breaking murder numbers seen across Indianapolis. Of course we're concerned about crime in our immediate area, but we can't stop the bleeding in our little section of town. It is a citywide problem. Chris Parmalee helped create this petition for the North Shadeland Alliance. The petition has three suggestions for slowing the violence, including ending low or no bail for repeat violent offenders. It is literally a revolving door. It is not a figure of speech. It is literally a revolving door of criminals right now. In fact, court records show one of the men killed in the double homicide on Shadeland last week, Darnell Bell, was released on bond following a weapons charge less than three weeks before he was shot to death. The petition also calls for the city to purchase a gunshot detection system and authorize emergency resources for IMPD. It's abundantly clear that we have a violence problem. On Wednesday, the City County Council began discussing an additional $3 million in spending for police and community groups proposed by the mayor's office. But Chris says her goal with the petition is simple. The goal of the petition is just to draw attention to the problem. Finally, anyone interested in looking at or signing the petition can find a link in the story on our website. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Jesse, thank you. The Safe Summer program starts up tomorrow.